Hello gentle viewers, this is Vindian, welcoming you to episode 2 of the Magic the Gathering Duels of the Planewalkers 2013 <sighs> game. Um, I promise to talk a little bit about what I don't like about this game, and I think it's fair, because while the game is very, very good for what it does, the most fun part of Magic is building your own decks. And unfortunately, you cannot do that here. It is impossible to build your own decks. Which means you can add more cards to your deck by unlocking them by playing the game. And that's cool. But... It's not ideal. Because you can't make the deck the way you want to make it. You can't experiment with different card combinations you're stuck with a limited number of decks. There's a good variety of decks, and I like that there are so many different decks. But it's problematic, to say the least. Um, let's play with a red deck. Okay, we could try the ultimate speed deck. Because this deck creates very, very large creatures, but it takes them a while to get going. So a speed deck like Goblin Gangland might be just the ticket. Let's start the duel. And I'll start the clock now. We don't need to see his stupid roar. We will begin the timer and the game. Okay. Now what you should see with this red deck is it should be very, very fast. But it's not going to be that fast if I'm stuck with only one lane to start the game. Okay, two is better. It's still not that great. But, so you can redraw twice. Every time you draw, every time you want to redo it again, you start losing cards. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about the card that I can play right now. This is an instant. Instants can be played on anybody's turn, and instants are resolved in the order last in, first out. So the last person to play an instant, it happens first. Um, and this is this is what a red this is what red decks have that called burn cards. This does two damage to any target creature or player. Um, in other words, it burns whatever you want it to burn. This is a great way to get rid of creatures, um, which makes this a formidable deck for a green deck to have to handle. Of course, we're going to be stuck with mana lock again until I get another mountain. That's pretty cool. We've got some decent cards in here, and we'll talk about them here in a minute. Now see, this would ordinarily be kind of scary. Watch as we dick them over on their turn. Bam! And this is why burn decks are awesome. We just torpedoed him. Oh, this is handy. This is a sorcery. We basically get two free creatures. Cool. These are tokens. Tokens are basically creatures, but cards create tokens. Got ourselves a nice goblin piker. Notice that none of these creatures are particularly dangerous. But we're getting them out before he is, which is important bit number one. And important bit number two, do we have other cards in this deck that'll make them more powerful? This is actually a decent start. It's not great. I still can't believe we're sitting here on two mountains. We really need three to make this deck work. It's getting kind of frustrating that we're not getting it. Okay, that's a bug. It should be putting the land into play tapped. We're doing some damage, but we're not really doing well. The problem is each turn that passes that we're not doing significant amounts of damage is a turn that's in his favor. See, they got some big scary creature. Yep, here he is. Oh, good God. Oh. 
Ouch. So first of all, this is a foil card, which means it's really shiny, but that's the least interesting thing here. First of all is Trample, which I didn't talk about last time. Remember how I said when you block a creature, um, all that, all that damage just goes away? Well, with Trample, any excess damage spills over to the other player. And he's going to be 6-6 six, six minimum because there's six forests in here. That's a bad card. That's a really bad card. Fortunately, we get our third mountain, but I don't think it's going to matter a huge amount. Eh, that'll deal a damage and give us a 2-1 creature. I kind of like the idea of this card. So this is the tap symbol. This means if I tap the creature and discard a card, I can draw a card. That means if there's a card I don't really need or want... Oh, that's really good, actually. I'm going to go ahead and cast that. Okay. Here's the thing. We would still win. Because he does 6 damage a turn. I can do 4 damage a turn. So it would be turn 1, 4. 6, 4, 6... Four, six, four. I would win in four turns if I attack with everything and he attacks. The problem is, as he keeps casting green spells, uh, this card is going to get more powerful. Now he's going to be an 8-8. Eight, eight. We're going to lose again. Well, I shouldn't say that for sure. There's all kinds of cards in this deck that could make our lives easier. Now, so, for instructional purposes, I will block this with one of my goblins. If the creature didn't have tamp trample, my goblin would die, but I would take no damage. Watch what happens instead. Goblin dies. And I just took seven damage. Wasn't really worth it, was it? A oh, raging goblin isn't bad. I mean, it's a 1-1 one, one creature that can attack the first turn it comes in. Not that I'm going to attack, because now it's become suicidal for me to attack. Let's use your ability. I would like to discard the Goblin Fire Fiend. And we got a mountain. That was totally worth it. Target goblin creature you control gets plus one and flying, and I sacrifice the beginning of the next end step. I can have target creature get plus two plus oh. The thing is, it's not enough. We didn't get enough. I'm gonna go ahead and just cast creatures at this point because I can. Um, I might deal one damage to you. That'll show you. I skip my attack phase. God damn it, quit it! Oh shit, now he's a 10 10. I'm dead. I will eat it. I'm dead next turn unless I get something nasty. Another mountain is lovely, but it's not what I needed. during that pre ah uh, well okay so he's gonna force me to fight that which means he's gonna die I'm gonna go ahead and discard this stupid lowland oaf I get another mountain for next turn that's something oh god 
Well, we just lost. There's no way to recover from this. This is one of the hardest decks to beat because it's just so good. Okay. How can we beat him? What do we need? We need to take advantage of the fact that he's got... How many counter spells do you have? Two? There's some decent stuff in this deck. I don't know how well it'll do though against... We either need a deck that's as fast or a deck that's really good at eliminating creatures. Let's try Obedient Dead. There should be enough cards in here to eliminate his creatures. That we should be off to a pretty decent start. Let's see what happens though. Let's give this a go. Okay, he plays first. But we've got some decent cards to start the game. So I'll actually keep this hand, even though he'll play first. And both of our decks are going to run kind of slow, and there's nothing I can do about that except just pick faster decks. Oh, this is good. We've got some really nasty cards right off the bat. I love it. God, he's gotten that card in his first hand every bloody time. Quit cheating. Okay. Oh, I don't want to play Blister Beetle, because I want to use it to kill one of his creatures. Okay, if I play this card, no, I'd have six cards in my hand. Not worth it. We're actually going to skip our turn. These are all good cards, but they're cards I want to save for a specific reason. I don't know if he even has any 1-1 one, one creatures. But he might, and if he even has one, it's worth it to play this card when it's more advantageous. I love Underworld Dream. It's a good way to actually win a game. Nope. Here we go, he's getting his stupid big creatures. Oh... This is so much more insidious, I love it. I think you should sacrifice a creature. I'll sacrifice one too. Oh wait a minute, I can't, I don't have any creatures. Now is a good time to play this. I will happily trade two life for drawing two cards. It's it's too good. And we keep getting more and more options. Boy, is he going to piss himself if he gets that giant creature and I just go assassinate. 2-2 two, is not that tough. Okay, another swamp. Let's start killing you. This is great. Anything that makes you draw a card will cost you life, which means you'll lose one life every turn. Until or unless you kill that. Oh, we purposely sacrificed it for four life. I guess that's cool. Basically started a clock. He's going to die in X turns. What have you got in your hand, my friend? Another creature with power... Or is it about under your control? Okay. Okay, let's play another swamp. And 
we'll murder it. <clears throat> I'm not going to bother casting the Blister Beetle unless there's a benefit to it. He's dead in 22 more turns. God damn it, I just killed one of you. Oh, and he's going to kill the stupid thing. Oh well. Can't win them all. There's a Warpath Ghoul. He's just a cheap 3-2. I really like Corrupt. We're gonna keep this. We're gonna keep. Uh, actually, we'll, we actually will go and cast the Warpath Ghoul. I think I can use the Blister Beetle to kill that if we're very clever. We're gonna have to do it next turn. No, if, if he's attacking with it, I can't use my trick. My trick basically was to get him to attack. And then I would block it. Ah, well. Each swamp I get just makes corrupt that much more powerful. Okay, we're gonna do something a little bit tricksy. Oh, you're gonna let it happen? I figured you'd block. Okay. I've got public execution in my back pocket to kill off a creature. Yeah, let's do it now. Because I got plenty of other creature removal spells in this deck, I'm sure. This part is corrupt actually gives me life for every damage I do. We're playing a strategy now where it suits my interests that he plays slowly. And he's gotten all the luck in the world with forests and he has nothing else. And as long as he's only pulling out one big creature every now and again. Oh, yes. Oh, they toned it down. There's another card that's called Hypnotic Spectre that every time it attacks, you discard a card. I'm not going to waste that card right now. If I play this card now, he won't have a card to discard. And that's kind of lame. Three two tramples not great, but I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Damn it. Fine. I'll play one of my Liliana Spectres. Even if you have nothing to discard, just because this way I can start dealing damage to you and you can't block it. I'm just waiting for more creature removal, which I will get eventually. I'll kill the one with trample, I don't care. I know you don't have any cards in your hand, so killing it is totally worth it. That's fine. I don't care. Mmm. -hmm. Yeah, 
Absolutely, let's cast a Bloodhunter bat. I choose Garrick. He took two damage, I healed two damage. That's a bit of alright. Not expect was still better, but it's an older card, and I'm pretty sure it's one of many, many, many cards that's been banned. Oh, but. And I didn't get my extra creature removal. Oh, God, I really don't want to use my insta kill on it. Why would I not block? There's no downside. I kill your creature. And you can't sacrifice a creature once it's dead. Oh, that's handy. Damn you. I did not want to burn corrupt on this. I wanted to burn corrupt on damaging you. But I need to kill this. So, I gained 8 life, and he lost his creature. That's a thing that happened. That's a downer, though. I was gonna save it up, but like 15 swamps kill him in one hit. Oh, well. You don't always get what you want, but you usually get what you need. And I think he's only got one of those. Problem is, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting enough murder cards. What do you do? Ooh. I love cards that let you search the library. I very much want another murder. I'm like a Sanger vampire, do I? Petrification. That's pretty neat. I've got some decent cards in here. Put it into your hand and shuffle library. But I think I want murder. It's too useful. That's an awfully scary creature, too. I'm actually not trying to attack with it. If you're wondering, why is that lighting up? You can actually use it to destroy your own creature. Do you have any abilities other than that? No, but that's a really good ability. And you're a pretty tough creature on top of it. Oh, murder's an instant. I thought it was sorcery. Go for it. I don't care, mate. I'm gonna laugh my ass off when you cast another creature and I instantly murder it. Oh, cool. I got this guy anyway. So basically what I do is I, I make any other creature a defender. A defender means it can't attack. And here's the best part. Death touch, any creature that I damage, no matter how powerful, dies. That's a really good creature. Okay, you are... We are now at the point where he is dead in two turns. Unless he's got something really nasty to pull out. We've got this one in the bag. <coughs> You're dead. You needed to draw anything but a forest, and you drew a forest. Game over, man. Game over. You've defeated Garrick. Huzzahs all around.
Ah, oh, here's our card. We've unlocked another Liliana's Shade. Not what I want to wanted, but... Hmm. Okay, let's go up here. Ah, uh, a white deck. What's a good... I should warn you in advance, I love blue decks. Blue decks are my favorite thing ever. I think once you've got 30 cards, I think all the rest are actually the foil cards where you actually have to pay for. Yeah. That's dumb. Do you really need to have friggin' microtransactions? I guess we do. Okay. I want to play with blue. I love blue so much. It's so slow, but it's such an awesome way to screw with the other guy. I don't have—I don't actually have any sideboard here, so I can't do anything about it. The deck manager is actually pretty cool. Um, it tells you what your card, what your deck is good at, what it's not so good at. So it tells you right off the bat, I've got seven cards with a casting cost of one or higher, one, one, and two with one of five. Um, I'm not gonna get a freaking. That's so silly. I can't believe they started putting... Actually, I do believe they put microtransactions in this game. We'll see what happens here. This is actually a really bad... We'll see what happens. I'm not super confident about these two decks matching up well. We've got a slow and weak deck versus a fast and less weak deck. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, this is a deck that is designed to make the other player just empty their deck. Very insidious, but if this deck is designed well, it's actually really fun to play that way. A lot of people do not like blue decks. I say those people are idiots. Yeah, we're going to cast this one because it means every time he draws a card, he puts a card into his graveyard. I choose Odric. Please discard one of your cards, my friend. That's whenever I draw the card. I thought it was whenever he drew the card. Okay. Okay, first strike actually kind of sucks. This is a bad deck to face for a strike. First strike means he deals damage before your person does. Um, normally they deal damage simultaneously. And he gets a free 1-1 one, one creature on top of it. Can't do anything about it. It's life. Go ahead. Discard again, please. Oh, this is nasty. I love it. Target opponent reels cards from the top of his until she reels a creature card. Everything goes into its graveyard, and the creature card is mine. Do it. Ooh, I got a good card, too. So whenever we're suddenly with battle cry attacks, everything else gets it. That's pretty cool. So I would never block a 2-2 with first strike with the 3-1 because he'll kill it before mine gets a chance to block. And now it's a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, if I block this, he's committing suicide. I know how first strike works. Shut up. Yeah, we're going to start taking damage every turn. But he's going to lose a card every turn. Now, I can steal any of his creatures if it's like a really awesome one. Gonna 
exile. You're gonna exile your own creature. That's kind of weird, but all right. I might take the damage. Now we get to counter spells. Yeah, we've got one more turn to do something about this. Oh, that's right, they got rid of interrupts, didn't they? They're all just called instants now. Yeah, I'm not going to care about a 2-1. The problem is, is his deck is getting into high gear, and my deck is still kind of trapped. We're dead next turn. We are super dead next turn. Damn it. Okay, we're going to cast Mind Control. This is the only way we can save ourselves. We're going to grab your Attended Knight. And it's not going to bloody matter because I forgot it gets tapped. And you just cast Pacifism. We just lost. Uncomfortable. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Um, because we're going to end this episode as soon as I die. We definitely need a different strategy for this deck. And let me just reinforce that what you're seeing here is actually the bare minimum level of strategy of magic. Um, what really makes magic fun is buying your own cards and building a deck. Um, we're going to go ahead, and, and I think I've decided, I think that this is a good game to play for the rest of the week, so you'll get two more episodes of this. Um, and then beginning next week, we might try something new. Maybe we'll go back to Tharsis, or play some Star Realms, just so you can see another card game that works very differently, but it's still just almost as fun, if not more fun. Um, but for now, we must accept our defeat, and we must press on in the next episode. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment down below. Um, but until next time, this has been Avidian, and I bid you good day.